Hi Digital Marketers, this is Faisal Amin. Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to track Gravity Form with Google Analytics 4 and Google Tag Manager. How can we understand that that is the Gravity Form? You have to click any field and click the right button on your mouse and go to the Inspect and that you can see that is GF. GF that means Gravity Form. If you click it and you can see the right side in styles you can see that gravity for so let's get started before it started i have already installed google tag manager and inside the google tag manager i have a google tag which activates my google analytics 4 tracking code if you have no idea how to install google analytics 4 with google tag manager in this video i, I will give you the link and you can easily set up your google analytics 4 on your website Firstly, we see the quote. This quote is designed to keep looking for successful gravity form submissions and then it will make the data available in your data layer. This quote is also known as an auto event listener. It will push some useful data to the data layer. So that firstly copy the quote and I will also provide the quote in the video description you can check it out so copy the quote and back to the goal tag manager create a new tag tag configuration and find out the custom html here you can see custom html click it and paste the code and ticker will be the all pages now giving the tag name that is custom html gravity from submission save it now we are go to the pv options and fill up the gravity form and check out that our listener code is working with our data layer or not so go to preview and that is our website so click the connect and you can see our tag assistant connect with our website now go to our desired gravity form that is our gravity form now we have to fill up the all form fields first name last name email and confirm email here we just put it any text so this is the test comments finally click the submit button and now go back to the tag assistant you can see that we are finding the event that is from submit this event we have to use for the ticker and as well as that we have to create a, any kind of variable from the form id and send with our main event so let's back to the google tag manager and create a new tag tag configuration and google analytics and let's click the google analytics ga4 event here we're putting the measurement id where we find the measurement id we have to go to the our google analytics ga4 property then finding the measurement id then google analytics for property and go to admin and under the data collection and modification go to data stream click the website and here we see the measurement id copy the id and back to the google tag manager place the measurement id even name that is the custom event so we can easily write according to our business needs so i am giving the name that is gravity from submission and under the event parameter we have to create a parameter so back to google tag assistant and here we can see form id g form one so we have to create a variable from our data layer so again back to google tag manager and firstly we have to put the event parameter name that is from id and the value will be click the plus sign and also click the plus sign to create a variable and variable configuration and the data layer here we putting the our variable name according to our data layer so back to google tag assistant and firstly copy the event model and paste it dot again tag assistant finally we are pick the form id copy the form id and paste the form id in the data layer variable name so finally we are giving the variable name that is dlb gravity form id save it and our variable are set up with our event now go to the triggering option click the trigger click the plus signs for the new trigger and trigger configuration click the custom event here we are putting the event name so go back to the tag assistant copy the event here we are finding the event name is form submit so copy the form submit if you have any kind of spelling mistake then your tag is not working perfectly so copy from the data layer as it is and you have to use as it is from the data layer as a form submit so paste the form submit now giving the trigger name that is event gravity form submit save it and we are almost done all of the process now finally we're giving the tag name 
that is gf4 gravity from submission save it now go to preview options our gravity form is perfectly tracking for the google analytics 4 or not so go to preview continue and that is our website now go to our gravity form that is our gravity form and again we are fill up the all forms field and this is the test now finally click the submit button now we back to the google tag assistant and see that our ga4 gravity form submission tag is fired perfectly and you can also see that our ga4 gravity form submissions fired now we finally check our google analytics 4 our event is passing to the google analytics property or not so go back to the google analytics 4 and go to the debug view you can see our gravity form submissions are working perfectly with google analytics ga4 property so click the gravity form submission and here we can see that our already we are creating a parameter that is form id that is perfectly working with our main event that is gravity form submission our form id the ga4 one and in the right side you can also see that gravity form submission as a event is working with google analytics ga4 so finally, we are successfully set up our gravity form tracking with Google Tag Manager and as well as Google Analytics 4. So thanks for watching this video. I will see you in the next video with a new topic. Thank you.